What we're going to do today is import an image into a program called GS View. And uh, what we're trying to do here is we're going to change an image um, into a vector format file so that we can then make it into a, a drawing file to go in AutoCAD, a DXF file, and from there what we can do is that'll allow us to send it to people who do things like laser cutting and that kind of thing, laser cutting machining and CNC machining and that kind of thing. Um, so um, what you have to do to get uh, GS View going, you have to download a few things to get it going. Of course the GS View software. Um, I'll see if I can put these uh, these links in the description. Um, you go have to download the GSV software, and it works with another um, software called GhostScript. And you'll have to download that also from GhostScript.com. And um, let's see, on that one, you can just download the just the regular uh, the GPL release, and that that should work fine just the latest version. You also have to download a program called PSTO Edit and um, if you if you go to that site you'll have to click you, you might have to in Chrome it g gives you some trouble sometimes you might have to right click on it and say uh, open a new tab and then of course that'll take you to source forge where you can download it. So anyway we've got this file um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to open the GSB software. Go ahead and get it going. Um, so there it is. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go to File and Open. I've got this file on my desktop. It's an Adobe Illustrator file. And so see if I can find it. Um, I'm going to I'm going to select. I'm going to look for all files. I know it'll open it. Um, so and there it is. This is a .ai extension. I'm going to say open and it, and it opens it pretty quick. There it is. That's my logo that I've got in, in that file. And so it's pretty simple from here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the, the edit menu and down to convert to vector format. I'm going to click, uh, click on that. And if I hadn't have downloaded the PSTO edit program this wouldn't work it give me an error message right here but it's uh, did it okay I'm gonna press OK and um, it in it uh, it did convert that file into a DXF file you, you'll have to if you if you selected the DXF you'll have to type in actually the file name dot DXF so it, it'll know the file extension for some reason it doesn't add that automatically I'm gonna click save I'll save it to my desktop alright so now that I've got that file saved um, let's see what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to where that I saved that file that DXF file I'm just gonna drag it right over into AutoCAD 2015 and drop it right there and so there's my export. For some reason it, it, it exports two files instead of just one. And so when I ex exported that into a DXF, it converted all the curved lines into like a polyline. But what that does, it, it actually gives you kind of uh, just straight lines. It can be kind of choppy looking. Um, what I'm going to have to do on each one of those, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to select that polyline and I'm going to, right in the middle of one of those, I'm going to right click. It gives you um, some options. I'm going to go under the polyline option and then there's, there's two options. There's curve fit and spline fit. Um, spline fit will turn this polyline into a spline and curve fit will turn it into just a, a collection of different curves. I'm going to select that one and see how it smoothed everything out. That's what I want right there. I'm going to do the same for that one. Polyline, curve fit. I'm going to do the same for that one. Let's see. Oops, no. It's not liking that one. There it is. Uh, curve fit. Try this one. Curve fit. So there we go. Now I'm going to save that file. 
and so now it's actually I'm going to keep it as a DXF because that's what I'm going to use to send to the laser cutters do you want to replace it? Yes. And um, so now we have a DXF file that we can um, that we can send to have it machined or laser cut and that kind of thing. And um, since it's in a DXF file, and that's all there is to it. If you feel like this video helped you out, please help me by contributing to my project fund. Thanks.